ده سینه باشه معده و روده اشخاص باشه و میدونیم که براخره میتونیم بگیم که این شلغم که واقعا میتونه بسیاری از امراضی رو که در بدن ما هست خوب بکنه فکر میکنم همه ما با شنیدن این همه کارایی که شلغم داره دوست داریم توی خونه هامون توی باغچه خونمون هممون شلغم بکاریم و همه فصل ها شلغم داشته باشیم و بتونیم استفاده بکنیم از مریم عزیز میخوام که یک فیلم کوتاهی هست اون رو ببینیم با هم در مورد شلغم و برگردیم و در مورد خورمالو با هم صحبت کنیم Turnips are an ancient vegetable that is thought to have been cultivated almost 4,000 years ago in the Near East. Both the Greeks and Romans thought highly of the turnip and developed several new varieties. Turnips were introduced into North America by the early European settlers and colonists. Turnips are a cool weather crop with a wonderful leafy green top. You can learn more about the upper greens on this website, theproducelady.org. The turnip root is typically a white bulb. Most very small turnips, also called baby turnips, are specialty varieties. These are only available when freshly harvested and do not keep well. Most baby turnips can be eaten whole, including their leaves. Baby turnips come in yellow, orange, and red fleshed varieties, as well as white fleshed. Their flavor is mild, so they can be eaten raw in salads like radishes. Rutabagas are called turnips in some parts of the world, although they are actually a cross between turnips and cabbage. Turnips are a good low-calorie source of vitamin C and fiber. One half cup boiled turnip has only about 15 calories. Now that's a bargain. Turnips should be no larger than three inches in diameter with unblemished skins. Six three-inch turnips equal one pound or about four cups chopped. Because of their high water content, turnips deteriorate quickly. Store unwashed in a plastic bag in the refrigerator up to one week. Slice off both the leaf and root ends. Scrub turnips with a vegetable brush before cooking. Peel larger turnips. There is no need to peel baby turnips. Basic cooking directions for turnips include boiling in salted water for 10 minutes or steam for 12 minutes. To microwave, place turnip cubes with a few tablespoons of water or stock in a covered microwave-safe dish. Cook on high for about three minutes, then let stand for about three minutes before serving. Adding turnips to your regular mashed potatoes is an easy way to get more cancer-fighting nutrients in your diet. You might also consider combining an apple in your turnips for a subtle change in flavor. Roasting is perfect for turnips. Their natural sweetness is highlighted and the contrast between the caramelized exterior and moist interior is marvelous. Chunks of turnips, coated with olive oil spray and sprinkled with rosemary, roast beautifully at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. They are wonderful combined with other root veggies like carrots and sweet potatoes for roasting too. You might like to try sauteed turnips with spinach and raisins. Heat two tablespoons olive oil in skillet. Add three medium turnips, peeled, cut into matchsticks, and one half cup raisins, and cook for one minute. Add three tablespoons fresh lemon juice, cover, and cook for three more minutes. Stir in 10 ounces fresh spinach and cook until just wilted. Sprinkle with nutmeg and salt and pepper to taste. Thinly sliced raw turnips have a crisp texture. They make a good addition to platters of raw vegetables and dip. I am the Produce Lady and I hope you will visit theproducelady.org for more information about healthy local foods. قبل از که برم خور در مورد خورمالو با تون صحبت بکنم دوست دارم که بدونیم که اسم شلغم اسم انگلیسیش هست ترنپ و دیگه دوست دارم که هر کدومشون رو که بهتون میگم اسم انگلیسیش هم بهتون بگم ترنپ میشه شلغم حالا میریم در مورد خورمالو با هم صحبت بکنیم که میشه پرسیمن و در مورد خورمالوی که واقعا اگر رسیده باشه بسیار خوشمزه است 
بسیار مقویه و هر جا میریم مثلا من خودم وقتی میرم خرید میکنم فکر میکنم که خب اگه مثلا خورمالو بردارم خب این وقتی که دست میزنم مثلا اینم سفته اما برای یه مدتی بیرون از یخچال نگه توی یخچال نمیذارمش بیرون از یخچال نگهداریش میکنم چون مثلا الان زمستون هوای خونم خب خیلی گرمه زودتر اون خورمالو میرسه و بعد شما میتونید مثلا این وقتی که رسیده شد چون وقتی که میذارینش توی یخچال و خنک میشه البته بشوریمش قبلش و بعد بذاریمش توی یخچال وقتی خنک میشه خوردنش خوشمزه تر میشه اما بعضی همون